Well, hello, little doves between the ages of three and six. It's Pastor Jerry. Hope you're ready for Sunday school. Good morning, doves. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I'm missing you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys miss me too. <laughs> okay, so you know, today it's Sunday. And you know what Sunday means for us? Sunday means fun time. But we have fun time in the word of God. Or rather, we have fun time with the word of God. Okay, but before we start with that, we're going to pray. Okay, so close your eyes. You bow your head and we pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for the gift of life. I thank you, Father God, for all the kids that are watching this lesson today. I pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus that you give us understanding of what we're going to be learning about today. Also, Father, we thank you for the blessings, all the blessings that we have in our lives, our parents, our teachers, and everyone and everything that is a blessing in our lives. We just want to say thank you in the mighty name of jesus christ we have prayed amen ah you guys are amazing thank you guys so much for joining me for prayer what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna do our pledges and our virtues as city kids and then right after that we're gonna sing a nice praise and worship song that talks about how much of a good father god is to us and how much we are loved by him so enjoy i pledge as a city kid to behave as jesus christ would at all times to listen to authority to be bold and talk to everyone about Jesus Christ. To learn one memory verse a week. To respect and help others. The virtues of a city kid are honesty, respect, compassion, and responsibility. Well, welcome back. Let's sing some more songs, okay? Come on, here we go. That's why I chose it because I thought you guys were gonna enjoy it. But I chose it most importantly because it teaches us exactly what we need to learn today from today's lesson that God is a good, good heavenly father, and that's just who he is. And we are loved by him, that is just who we are, you know, and that's the relationship that we have with God, and that's the relationship that we should maintain with God forever and ever okay but before we start with the action lesson for the day we need to do our memory verse for the week so our memory verse we're gonna get it from proverbs chapters 22 verse 6 and i hope you guys have your bibles i have my bible with me i hope you guys have your bibles and it reads as follows so it's proverbs 22 verse 6 train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old like old like teacher to me he will not depart from it so it says that train up a child a child train up a dove <laughs> in the way he should go and when he is old 
he will not depart from it that is our memory verse for the week i hope you guys learn the memory verse and remember it for the rest of the week today's lesson is about the prodigal son so it's a parable of the prodigal son which means the story of the lost son so basically what happens in this story is that jesus was explaining to his people um just explaining to them and trying to show them the qualities of a good loving father and remember we said that uh, god is a good good loving father and he loves us so that is what jesus was trying to explain to the people and they're trying to tell them and explain to them that they should actually desire to have a, that kind of a good and loving relationship with the heavenly father as they have with as uh, the prodigal son had with his father okay so we find this story in the book of luke 15 verses 11 to 24 so remember guys we're reading from the bible i hope you guys have your bibles with you so that we can read um our story and it reads as follows and he said there was a certain man who had two sons. The youngest of them all said to his father, Father, give me part of your property that falls unto me. And the father did not have a problem with that. He divided all of that into two and gave one to the other. And then the other one remained for the one who was remaining at home with the father. And not so many days after that, the young one who was um, demanding for his share gathered up all that he had and journeyed into a distant country and there he wasted his fortune in reckless and loose living. And when he had spent all that he had, a mighty famine came up on that country and he began to fall behind and be in want. So he went and glued himself upon one of the citizens of that country who sent him into the field to feed pigs. So he got a job but because he was broke he spent all of the money that god his he spent all of the money that his father gave him and then now he is broke so now he had to get a job and start feeding pigs imagine and he was hungry so now the way that he was hungry he would gladly have fed on and filled his belly with the food that the pigs were eating but they couldn't satisfy his hunger. Nobody gave him anything. Then he went and started thinking to himself, how many hired servants of my father have enough food and even food to spare, but I am perishing here and dying of hunger. Hunger. I will get up, that's him to himself. I will get up and go to my father and i will say to him father i have sinned against heaven and in your sight he's deciding that he want to go to his father is it maybe because he knows that his father is a good father a good loving father or is just he's trying his luck let's read and find out what happens and he says i'm no longer worthy to be called your son that's what he's planning he's gonna say i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants so he got up the following day i'm thinking and came to his father but while he was still a long way off that he was still there his father saw him and moved with pity and tenderness and ran and embraced him and kissed him his father was like my son and then he hugged him and kissed him and he was so happy that his child is back at home and the son said to him father i have sinned against heaven and in your sight i'm no longer worthy to be called your son but the father said to his bond servants bring quickly the best rope and put him on put 
it on him and give him a ring for his hand and sandals for his feet he was in so much shock because he thought that his father was gonna say no go away you did this and did that but the father was so welcoming to his son because this my son was dead and alive again he was lost and is found and they became to revel and feast and be merry so his father threw a party guys a whole party for him <laughs> so guys what we learn from this is that this father was so nice to his child so for example let me give an example it's you and your older brother and your father is giving you guys money every day or you have piggy bags so there's a piggy bag for you and there's a piggy bag for your brother and in this piggy bag your father puts five rand for you guys every day so that in december you can buy nice sneakers or nice games for your peers or for your playstations whatever now you go and you say to your father no eh, it's you now me i want my money i'm tired i can't wait until december i need that money so that i can do other things and your dad because he's a good father he gives you your piggy bag bank and you go with your piggy bank you go to your friends you spoil them you buy sweets for them you buy nice things you do everything for your friends and yourself you buy ice creams junk you buy cakes and all of these things you do with that money that your father gave you and now you are left without money and now you need money to do something important let's say in december comes and you need money you don't have sneakers you need new sneakers um but your father and you go you ask your father you get to ask your father you're thinking oh god my dad is gonna say no because of what i did you know because i i took my money back in june now my dad is gonna hold it against me but in this story we learn that our fathers they do not hold things against us that is how our heavenly father is that's how the good good father is he does not hold things against us even if we sin we kick our brothers we steal our brother's cake from the fridge or we do anything wrong but we need to learn that god is a good father and he forgives us at all times he's a loving father to us at all times and he will always always love us and we must also know that god loves us and when i'm talking about father i don't mean your biological father it can be your uncle it can be your older brother it can be your grandfather it can be your stepfather it can be literally anyone it doesn't have to be your have your 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 biological father that uh, that you know of you know so the message or what we need to learn from today is that god is a loving father that is what jesus was trying to teach his people that god is a loving father we should not think of him as the scary person or as this person that punishes people but as a forgiving and loving person just like the father on the story of the prodigal son so i hope you guys really learned a lot from this lesson don't ever forget like don't forget even when you are talking after this lesson just go to your mom or your dad and say reminder god is a loving father and you should desire to have a good loving relationship with him just as you have a good loving relationship with your father your brother your uncle and any other person so bye guys until next week ciao teacher timmy loves you guys <laughs>
Please note that your heartfelt giving to the kingdom in the season aid the many struggling financially at this time. And so we thank you for your generosity. The City of Zion offers online Sunday school. If you have doves between the ages of three and six, lambs between the ages of seven and nine, or eagles between the ages of 10 and 12, we encourage you to join us at The City of Zion on YouTube for our Sunday classes at 10.30 a.m. Now, while church may be closed, our doors and our hearts are wide open. If you're in need of prayer, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at prayerrequest at thecoz.org.